options, but we'll keep them on a hold. We're going to be going into another match. VG's Junebug versus Karna. Yo, Karna. Can I geek out about Karna for a little bit? I think I would geek out with you about Karna Dude, because Karna I think this guy is, is really good. Yeah. Excellent. No, you saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, like, brownies, you know, brownies, 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 brownies. brownies. Look, at, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We made it. We made it. We taken over everything. We taken over everything. Hey. Everything. Basketball, we got brown people there too. Golf, I think there's somebody brown there. Maybe. Football, eventually. Yeah. Maybe. But we taken over. <laughs> Oh, Never God. in the history of the game have we had brown commentators commentating brown players <laughs> who are playing purple and black characters. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. They're re oh, yes, there we go. They got that restart. Ooh. And this is what we're, we can expect from Junebug. Great conversions. But Karna, so freaking smart. This guy's on another level. People come to me and say, listen, I can take on a lot of these other guys. I can take on Denti. I can take on some of these other guys. I can't lay a hand on Karna. Man, he's just such an intelligent player. And I feel like the way that he thinks about the game, that he, the way that he plays the game, is very similar, actually, to Junebug. Yeah. Something else to consider is the fact that Sheik is one of those characters who I feel... Uh, succeeds at KOing either very early or very late into the game. And playing against a character like uh, Lucario, that will make or break you. You have to make sure that you can take out those stocks immediately because you can't be having Lucario at 150%. You're going to have a really bad time. Oh, you're going to have a very... That combination of aura game. along with rage makes it so that this character can KO you absurdly early. Oh, got him with the tip. Look at that. A hundred percent. Wow, what was his percent when he up smashed him? God, that was nuts. And he's not even at like a hundred yet. That's insane. Let's see if he can continue this streak. No, he's on the receiving end. Good job avoiding that bouncing fish. Nice. And gets caught with the explosion. Exactly what Karna needed. He couldn't afford to have a Junebug really sitting at a, a higher percent than that. Okay, back to neutral. You're seeing him grab these heels. Good stuff with the tomahawk. Moving in here, trying to catch as many meals as he can. But on the receiving end of some of these arrows that we're seeing from Junebug, good follows up. Back to neutral. Ooh, and Junebug gets his hands on Karna. Trying to carry him right off of this stage. Karna finding that fair, gets the grab afterwards. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was interesting. He did like a pivot forward air and then uh, a back air afterwards. That was awesome. The shenanigans. The shenanigans. Ooh. Junebug once again finds his mitts on Karna. Not really converting for too much. It just feels like they're trying to feel each other out. I know that Karna needs to figure out like a really crucial setup, something that's going to go for a KO rather than just damage. Yeah, I mean, you make conscious decisions back and forth between damage versus positioning. I mean, already you can look at the glow, Ooh. and wow, Ooh. Karna closing that out immediately with that vanish. That was really, uh, that was, that's not the first time he did it either. He did it also a previous time with that explosion. So, yeah. I the, mean, uh, the viability of it is there. The last time he used it was because he understands that Lucario, his recovery has a is really good from a distance standpoint, but it has a bit of that startup, right? Like you have to be like, and then, and you then go, go, right? Yeah. So it was on the, whenever he used that vanish, mm -hmm. and that's what ended up clipping Junebug for the first stock. And the second stock, I think he may have baited out an air dodge from Junebug, mm -hmm. and that's why he fell victim to that immediate, immediate vanish. Well, we're getting into this next match. Cool. So, getting straight into this next match, they're both trying to feel each other out in the, in the neutral game, trying to see if they can get these grabs, because both these characters off of grabs can get ridiculous percentage. Oh, yeah, and uh, Karna in particular, he doesn't necessarily need the grabs. It's all about just trying to figure out a way to land that first fair. Because if you can land that first fair, you can chain it into another. <laughs> the, uh, the DJ Khaled, another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> You oh. smart. <laughs> Keep <laughs> right. <laughs> Keep right. Oh god, it's so <laughs> bad. bad. It's so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Man, like, I mean, that's why you, that's why you just make the beat, homie. That's why you yes. just <laughs> he doesn't write anything. Please never write anything ever again. <laughs> DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Carter buys the forward smash. <laughs> It's not going to be enough to KO. Whoa. I thought that could have been the end of him. But Karna, he has great control of his characters. He knew that he could go that low and still make it back with that vanish. Ooh. Ooh pumps him. Pumps him. Karna barely avoiding that aura sphere. But gets his hands on him, and that's going to be a stock. That was delicious. Ooh. That was delicious. Oh, my goodness. I, why am I so hungry? <laughs> oh. Because you're watching this delicious, delicious Smash 4 action, dude. It's so cute. I can just eat you up. 
Where's the kid in the back with the BB shirt? Oh, he didn't come out, man. He's like, y'all, y'all talk. <laughs> he left to go to LTC. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's like, there's too much hype right now. I can't, I, I can't be in the background. Mm. That, those owls, they're so tight, man. I, yeah. yeah those <laughs> they've been watching StarCraft like the Korean streams, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Anyways, Karna really struggling to take this first stock out from Junebug. This could actually be the ca the case of his undoing. Junebug putting on a little bit of damage by turning around and charging that Aura Sphere right wow. by the ledge. Is it a, he let it rip a bit too early, but he does have other kill options. Considering he's at such high rage, he can do whatever he'd like at this point. He's just got to be smart about the positioning. You guys, that's the big thing is that while it is smart to have the technical ability, it's being able to know when to push and when to pull or, or when to wait. You know what I'm saying? And just like that, that's a perfect example of Karna going there using that up there to finish that stock. How is he going to continue to push here with this tempo? Ooh, using those forward airs, gets 22% on Junebug, avoids the down smash, but Junebug plants that dare, has a little bit of time, charges up that aura, but charges a bit too long, and Karna lands an aerial. Karna getting the jabs, not going for the rapid jabs, going for the down tilt instead. Doesn't really get a whole lot out of it. Brother June. Karna's at such a high percentage. June is not really too high, so we don't have to worry about rage just yet. But as Karna starts to make this comeback, he has to consider the fact that if he just piles on damage, it won't be enough to secure this set. He needs to ensure that he gets this KO. He needs to make sure he saves up hard-hitting moves. Nice! Oh That's how you gosh. do it. Karna sending Junebug to the loser's bracket with a well-placed bouncing fish. Man, great stuff. And brown people really represented today. That's true. That's true.